Tomorrow, the summer break ends for some local students as several school districts welcome them back this week. Fox 5's Alani Latang joins us from East County with details on what parents need to know to get those kids ready. Hi, Alani. Hi, Jason. Yeah, summer break is over. Coming up to a quick wrap up here at Grossmont. Students and staff will be back in the classroom tomorrow. We also want to share with you some of the other schools that are ending their break and uh, starting school tomorrow. That's Del Mar Unified School District, Jamal Dezira School District, Mountain Empire Unified School District, and then here at Grossmont Union High School District. And some districts will be starting school later. This is due to a state bill 328 to address sleep deprivation. The law requires public secondary schools to start later in the day. So that means no earlier than 8 a.m. for middle schools and no earlier than 830 for high schools. Grossmont Union High School District has made the, that adjustment. According to the district's website, a regular day will start at 830 for their high schools. And when school starts is school start time is decided on the local level and families should contact their schools for details. Also new this year, all 6.2 million public school students in the state will have the option to have free school lunches regardless of family's income. This happened because of a budget surplus, making this the country's largest free student lunch program. There's also some new COVID protocols, the CDC loosening some of them. Children can go to class if they've been exposed to the virus. The CDC says students and staff who are asymptomatic should still wear a mask for 10 days and test on day five. Again, that's if your child has been exposed. The CDC also recommends or drop the recommended routine testing in K through 12 schools. Also, a big thing is masking. CDC is still recommending that people wear masks, especially in indoor settings. Here at Grossmont, they are not requiring students uh, to wear their mask. Also, San Diego Unified School District, they are continuing um, to have that current mask policy in place. We have reached out to see uh, when that will be updated. But for now, reporting live here in Grossmont, I'm Alani Latang, Fox 5 News.